Charing Cross is a station with many names and faces. The first underground was built on site at Trafalgar Square on the 10th of March 1906 and was served by the Baker Street and Waterloo Railway, which is now the Bakerloo Line. When the closures on the lines uh, were done, um, it allowed um, TFL to introduce filming so it could be used um, for creativity projects, whether it be movies or television series. Um, when this takes place, uh, they don't use actual advertisements like, as of today, we might see for a film or movie. Um, at the theatre, they basically they have to make up something, um, and, and give it a contemporary look. Um, there's a few examples here of one instance. In 1999, the Jubilee line was extended to the Stratford. This was not the route originally planned for the fleet line, but a new road, road route made it possible by modern advances in tunneling techniques. This is one example of one of the maps for the underground. Prince William uh, taking part on the opening celebrations. Yeah, so basically these um, grooves are, if you look down you can see trains coming in and out of the platforms, um, really, um, so you can track what's going on and you can see them coming and going. Uh, if you ever actually was on a platform and if you randomly looked up, you might, you might see somebody up there doing some form of maintenance. Or you might actually see somebody who's actually on a tour. Yeah, so any second now, as you can see, we've just got one pulling in.